So let's talk about LumaStem, LumaStem technology. This is something that is very unique to advanced rejuvenation. And LumaStem uses laser therapy. Now, what you need to know is that laser, the red color, the spectrum, so when we have the sun, we have all the different spectrums in the sun, all of them together. So you can take out different colors if you have the right equipment. You can also create these different spectrums, and the red has the most penetration into the body. But did you know 70% of that light is absorbed in the first millimeter of the skin? So you don't get a lot that goes into the body. So when we, we, we have an external laser here, and it's this you know, $60,000 laser, the, the head's like this big, and it's got to produce like 20 million, I'm sorry, 20,000 millivolts. And we get penetration, but the majority of it is in the skin. So we have to have some pretty extensive, and you're still not getting a lot deeper. It just, you don't get the effect. So why would you want to be lasering tissue anyway? Well, laser's been around for a long time, and they found that laser does some pretty amazing things to actually regenerate human tissue to repair tissue and also to allow tissue to function more efficiently by giving it energy. So part of LumaStem is interstitial laser therapy. So we're going to talk about a few aspects of the application of LumaStem. Okay, there's interstitial, there's interarticular, and there's intervascular. Okay? So with interstitial, we're talking about being in tissue. We're not in the joint, but we're in the tissue. So where would this come into, <clears throat> into play? Very often we treat the spine and we'll take the, we can actually take and feed the laser through a special catheter. So it, it's, it's a needle, and by the way, we can inject the stem cells through that same needle. We can advance this tiny laser, very powerful laser, right onto say like a nerve root. We had a patient <clears throat> last week lady lost motor function, was in a wheelchair. One treatment, she came back, she was able to move her leg. So it's very powerful. We're able to use various colors, and we're going to talk about what the different colors do in a second, but all the other colors virtually don't even penetrate the skin, so you can't get a lot of these physiological effects unless you're able to get it close to the tissue. And the spine, a lot of these areas of damage in the spine are very, very deep, very deep in there. So um, <clears throat> we're able to penetrate depths up to 12 centimeters. Um, compared to external laser, this therapy and this technique has significantly improved therapeutic results. So green, yellow, and blue lasers, which are normally absorbed already in the surface of the skin, can be applied into deep tissue where they develop their anti-inflammatory effects. So interstitial laser, some of the common applications that we use for this is chronic spinal disorders, herniated discs, scar tissue after disc surgery, is very good for, spinal stenosis, nerve lesions, tendinitis and strains. So now we're going to talk about intraarticular laser. This is where we're actually able to laser the surface of the cartilage. So if you were to take an external laser and hope to actually get a large effect into the articular cartilage, you would be fooling yourself if you're able to do that with an external laser, but if you're able to take the laser into the joint, there's a picture here, you can see when the laser's in that joint, the whole joint lights up. If we turn the lights off in the room, the entire joint like photoluminesces. So it's very, very powerful. Intraarticular laser therapy is used primarily in the treatment of damaged joint by application of a newly developed catheter technology. It allows direct irradiation of dysfunctional tissue, nerves, cartilage, bone. There are already main, uh, many scientific studies that are clearly demonstrating the, regenerative of car the regeneration of cartilage tissue by any means of low-level la laser therapy. While red lasers are mainly used for regeneration and chronic joint pain, blue light is particularly effective in the treatment of acute inflammation due to its anti-inflammatory effects. To optimize effects, the treatment may also be combined very successfully with other injections, such as platelet-rich plasma and stem cells. <clears throat> so LumaStem therapy for intraarticular is typically used for knee joint arthrosis 
any type of inflammation of the joint, hip arthrosis or arthritis, chronic shoulder arthritis and syndromes, and ankle uh, arthritis. Really anywhere there's arthritis in the, in the body. I got sick about 10 years ago. I got very sick. And I, I couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. And I um, finally found um, a doctor that tested me for Lyme disease. And he tested me for Lyme disease. And what Lyme disease does is it suppresses your immune system. And so um, they then tested me for common viruses that are, you know, we're all usually infected as children and then they lay dormant. And one um, infectious disease doctor found that my viral titers for something called Epstein-Barr was the highest he'd ever seen. And I was functioning and I was working, but I felt terrible and I had just terrible arthritis in my joints and a lot of pain and inflammation. And I went and looked for different types of treatment all over the world. And one of the places I went was Germany. And I, and I found that a lot of places that I went, they were experts, helped a little bit, but nothing quite fixed it. So when I was able to put all these things together, I was able to cure myself. And we now treat chronic Lyme disease at our clinic. And we are regularly doing post-Lyme tests and curing Lyme disease with patients. And it's not easy. And it takes a very integrative approach. One of the things that is the most powerful treatment to heal Lyme disease is this. And what, one of the treatments that I had heard of and I had tried and I had some limited effect was UVB blood irradiation. And this is a common treatment that's given in various um, alternative medicine practices, with usually with medical doctors or osteopaths or on the alternative side. And they will take about 250 cc's of your blood and then they will let it drip through a pipette that goes through basically, basically it's a UV laser. So your blood's able to get exposed to this. So for about 20 minutes, 250 cc's of your blood is slowly dripping through this pipe. With this technology, we're able to not only take the ultraviolet, but we're able to take yellow, blue, green, and red, and each time we have it in someone's vein, within 20 minutes, the entire blood supply is exposed to this color. It's, it's a total game changer. But for instance, red has an energizing effect, and it increases something called ATP production, which is the energy currency of the cells. So it makes the cells stronger. And that was one of the problems I had with chronic Lyme disease is my, my cells, your mitochondria shut down. You stop being able to produce energy, so you start to accumulate all kinds of toxins, which your cells normally are able to get rid of. And you just feel pretty bad. And so the red also strengthens the immune system. It increases cell activity, regenerates damaged tissues, <clears throat> structures, and improves circulation. The green increases oxygen uptake, reduces pain caused by inflammation and swelling. The blue improves microcirculation by nitric oxide release, which also is very powerful at stimulating stem cells to work. Um, so the blue improves microcirculation by nitric oxide, its strong anti-inflammatory and antibacterial effects, accelerates wound healing, supports pain relief, activates telomerase, and biogenesis of mitochondria with maximum anti-aging effects. Anybody here know what telomerase is? So your, your cells have DNA, and the DNA has telomeres. And as we get older, those telomeres get shorter and shorter. They feel like this is the key to the aging process. And if they can increase the telomeres, then you're actually turning back the clock on your aging. So they found that some organisms that have extremely long lifespans have the ability to produce telomerase. We have a very small ability to produce telomerase. So the blue light actually activates that. Yellow has an antidepressant effect by enhancement of vitamin D and serotonin production, effective against chronic viral infections, strong antibacterial effects, positive influence on the endocrine system and metabolism. Here, viral disease, hepatitis, HIV, herpes, bacterial infections, multi-resistant staphylococci, parasitic disease, and Lyme disease. 
um, we're able to photo activate certain um, nutrients with this IV laser. For instance, there's a there's a an herb called St. John's wort, and when St. John's wort is taken prior to laser, the yellow laser turns the St. John's wort on, which can be anti-cancer, and it's also very antiviral. Um, another aspect of um, the photodynamic aspect is um, curcumin. Curcumin can be activated by the blue laser, which has a very powerful anti-inflammatory effect. So there's some really neat synergistic things that they're finding where when you can take certain nutrients and then have it photoactivated in the body, in the bloodstream, you can affect some really positive um, aspects of health. So this is kind of showing the bacteria fungi, parasites, and viruses. So antibiotics only work in bacteria, and not, all, not even all the bacteria, because you're getting a lot of these superbugs, where the IV lumistem laser works on all of them. So a lot of times, we don't really, when we take new patients in that have Lyme disease, they always have lots of co-infections. And to test them for all these possible co-infections can cost thousands of dollars. So it's a nice thing that we have something that's so broad spectrum that we can heal people from not only the Lyme, but all the different co-infections that they have. And this is what it looks like. You see this light right in the vein. You see when the lights are turned off, it just like the arm turn, turn, it's really neat actually. So the things that we can treat with this are internal diseases like diabetes, chronic liver and kidney disease, metabolic disorders, cardiovascular diseases, chronic pain, fibromyalgia and rheumatism, allergies, macular degeneration, tinnitus, multiple sclerosis, depression and burnout, Lyme disease, and general performance increase in sports. And there's really no negative effects. So there's, there's no side effects except you're gonna get healthier. For more information about these exciting regenerative therapies, you can find us at advancedrejuvenation.us. You can also contact us by phone at 941-330-8553 or email us at info at advancedrejuvenation.us. If you found the information on this video helpful, please like us and share us on Facebook. You just never know whose life you might touch. Well, thanks for joining us. And remember, if healing is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now.